Coolpad Cool 1 is a modified version of the previously launched La Echo La 2. The phone looks exactly like the La 2. From the materials used to the chamfered edges, everything is reminiscent of the La 2. Needless to say, if you like the La 2, there is no questioning of this design either. Even with its 5.5-inch display and a slighter thicker profile, the Coolpad Cool 1 is as comfortable to hold as the La 2. Overall, it's a well-built smartphone, even if it looks the same as most budget devices today. The Cool 1 has 1920x1080p display. It has four display modes, La Echo, Vivid, Natural and Soft, and is set in La Echo mode out of the box. The color saturation is quite good and the icons and text look sharp. The overall touch response is fluid, but the Cool 1 is prone to fingerprints. The downside is its luminance, which is at 427 lux, which is much lesser than the competing phones. This, combined with the reflective display, means that it is not easily visible under direct sunlight. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 just glides through daily tasks such as browsing, video streaming, social networking, WhatsApp, etc. Further, there is an extra gig of RAM compared to the La Echo La 2 on this one, which is always welcome. The phone handles gaming with equal ease and ran all the games, including the heavy ones like Asphalt 8. The phone uses two IMX 258 Exmor RS sensors. Of these, one is the main camera, which captures color photos and the other shoots the same images in monochrome. The camera software then combines the images from both the 13 megapixel sensors to create one image. On the Cool One, images turn out to be really good, but don't go expecting the Huawei P9's quality. In fact, the Nubia Z11 Mini takes better photos than this one. While details are good, there is some visible noise even in pictures taken during the day. The dual camera setup also lets the phone shoot bokeh, which comes really handy while taking portrait shots. Powering the device is a 4000 mAh battery and the battery life is much better than the Echo La 2. After charging the device to 100%, we were left with around 30% battery at the end of the day. The Cool One gives you a solid 12 hour battery life, which should satisfy most users. The Coolpad Cool 1 corrects the one flaw the La Echo La 2 has, which is the camera. Its dual camera setup takes commendable photos and it has a great battery life as well. Overall, this is amongst the best performing smartphones in the sub-15,000 market today. Thank you for tuning into Digit and for more videos, subscribe to our channel.